Okay, now in this video, what we're going to be doing is checking our syntax. So if we come up and we're looking for our errors, we're going to come up and click on the little blue checkbox up here to check our syntax. And you'll see our first one, expected left parenthesis before target 6. If we double click on that, it'll take us right to that area. And you'll see just before or right after our if here, it is looking for a parenthesis. So, and this is a cascading one that goes down. So let's go ahead and fix all of these. Just before these if statements. Basically it's because we copied this. So we got several of these happening. Okay. Now let's go ahead and check it again. And it's coming up. Expected colon before semicolon. So if we double click on that. On our case statement. These should actually actually be colons in here. So if we come down and change all these to colons instead of semicolons. Number five is good, so all that should be good. Let's check it one more time. And we have no script errors. But I also noticed up here under our if done that we have some spelling errors. We forgot to spell this as target. So let's go ahead and fix these errors. Okay. And let's check it one more time. Now let's go ahead and test this. So control enter, or we could also come up under control test movie. And you'll see we'll get some more, more errors in here. So first error is undefined property instructions button so basically it's just a misspelling so let's go ahead and fix this let's come back look at the next one again another misspelled and let's just go through and start checking these reset button so forgot our E inside there Next one is our switch. So we forgot to place our H or our C inside here. For our switch. Next one's another instruction button. And I forgot the S on instructions. And then my last one, undefined uh, function, my collision detection. So I'm just going to copy this. And let's go find our function for our collision detection. That's sitting right here. And let's just paste it. That way they're spelled exactly the same. That should take care of all those errors. So again, if we test this, control enter. You see our game will start up. We click on our instructions. Our instructions pop up. Now notice how that blend mode changes our button. We cannot click on it anymore. Yeah, if we click on our start button, the game starts, our first target pops up, and we can start playing the game. Our score is adding up, our time is counting down. Now one more thing I would like to add in here is some sound effects. So first thing I'm going to do is go into my library and I have already imported a sound in here. Uh, with this sound, I basically found it on uh, flashkit.com under their sound effects. Okay, so I imported it to my library. What we're going to do is play this through our uh, action script instead of just bringing it onto the stage. So we need to right click on it, go down to the properties. And inside here we can test it. You can see it's just a simple little sound. And we're going to do the export for action script. So when we do an export for action script, it's going to automatically fill these in. I changed mine to say gunshot. And I got rid of the .mp3 file. So you can see over here in the library it is a .mp3 file. Just say OK. Now a message will pop up and say, oh, it's trying to create this class. Just go ahead and say OK to that as well. Now out here in my actions, I can uh, define that. So by creating a variable, 
And I'm going to call this my shot colon and it's a gunshot because we just created that class called gunshot and it's going to equal a new gunshot and again make sure all your spelling is the same now where do we want to go through and actually have our gunshot sound well the best time would be down in our collision detection so when we want to go through and shoot that target on that mouse down so let's go down into our collision detection and the very first thing in here basically I'm just going to say shot dot play and it will play that shot for me every time I click my mouse to do any collision detection so now if we test this let's just go ahead and start our game you can see now we have some sound in our game as well as we're going through and playing it so I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed these uh, leave some comments uh, give me some feedback let me know what you thought about these tutorials and uh, we we'll hope to see you in another tutorial with a little more advanced game next time thanks for watching them